Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back. My name is Isla Straight and in today's video we will be playing Fallout 76. I've been playing Fallout 76 since the game came out and this particular secret boss is called or known as the Wendigo Colossus and I have rarely seen him. Very, very rare. Actually, until like a month or two ago, I never encountered him at all because I never go over here to the forest to check after somebody nukes Fisher Sight Prime to spawn the Scorch Queen, one of the in-game bosses in this game. So anyway, this guy is a tank and he downed me right there, but I've got on a perk which brings me back to life after I get downed and it causes me to do 50% more damage with my weapon which in this case is a two-shot explosive laser rifle. Yes, it is a legacy nowadays, but I earned it fair and square by farming at the White Springs within the first three months that the game was out. I actually, I sold some of my legacies to the robot vendor because at that time, you only had like 200 pounds of space you could carry in your bank. It was a much tougher time back then. Now times are much better with the amount of carry weight we currently have, the 1200 I believe. Was it, was it 200 or was it 400 or was it 600 pounds? I don't remember, but it's, it's been a while and it is a much better update. Although, coming from Fallout 4, we had like unlimited space in our banks. So anyway, this is the Window Co Colossus. I kind of went off on a little tirade there, but uh, he is the biggest bullet sponge in the game and this is like the junior I should say because um, I believe the, the Wendigo classes that you encounter in the cave the named one named Earl Win Williams in Mananga Mine has 80% damage reduction from all sources so but it feels like this guy also has it even though he's not named now what makes this fight interesting is he has a 1 in 15 chance of spawning every time a nuke is dropped. Now in the Wikipedia it doesn't say that he spawns specifically in this tree area but this is where I found him but it says that he can spawn during any nuke drop so I, I'm assuming that means if this is his only spawn point that he can spawn here anytime a nuke is dropped. Um, unless you're talking about any time a nuke is dropped on the queen. Uh, but it, it says on the wiki that he can spawn inside of any nuke zone. So be careful because you might be at the White Springs and see the Wendigo Colossus one day. I don't know. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, fighting this guy is like you better bring a lot of ammo because you're going to need it. Because it feels like he has that 80% damage reduction. I'm also using a two-shot explosive handmade, which I found while doing riding shotgun off of a mosquito. It was absolutely one of the best things I've received in this game. Now, I don't really know how a mosquito swallowed a rifle, but uh, maybe I shouldn't ask. I shouldn't, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. But anyway, this is a fun battle, and you should definitely check out the forest near Fisher Sight Prime every time this place is nuked and it is covered by the nuke. Now I, I don't know if he'll spawn when you nuke somewhere else but it's interesting. It's an interesting fight. Just bring a lot of ammo because this guy is the definition of a bullet sponge. But in a few moments I will be receiving help from my team. One time I did this I have footage on my PlayStation 5 somewhere um, and the guy was like, I joined the team with people, they knew I was fighting a Wendigo. I turned my mic on and I said, hey guys, I need a little help. And one of the guys who was the team leader said, uh, what guns are you bringing? And kind of just kicked me out of the team. So I was like, oh wow, this guy is such a nice guy. But I like this guy right over here with the plasma flamer, he's helping. And then the guy on the roof who's just like a superhero who just magically appeared there he's helping with that ultra sight gatling laser so this is beautiful and then we have another person running in that's always great to see that's what daddy likes to see and um you you don't want to do this encounter for the drops he does not have 
a guaranteed three star legendary every time on his body but uh it's, it's just a fun fight to do at least at least once or twice in your, in your career to see how strong your character has grown i know some people they have really good fixers and they're able to solo him with a few thousand rounds but uh you know me i i was probably gonna run out of ammo before that happened <laughs> and I, I only have a super good uh, handmade and a good laser rifle so those are like my two best weapons at the moment that I can think of off the top of my head on this commando rifleman type character that I have I have three characters in the game but anyway uh, yeah this guy's interesting especially when you have a scorch beast and you have the windigos and you have super mutants and you have robots and you have all these other people that can show up during the fight it makes it a whole lot of fun you can even fight this Wendigo Colossus at the same time as the Scorch Beast Queen, which is just chaos. <laughs> and I don't recommend doing it, but yeah, if you do, you, you're up for a challenge. You're up for a major challenge. And bam, he just spit on me and knocked me down. But hey, Mysterious Saver, let's go. It looks like you just activated Revenant again. <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're not making things easier on yourself, Mr. Wendigo Colossus. So I am back to it. I am just spraying and spraying and I'm not sure if using uh, one of these legacy rifles outside of VATS is doing as much damage as using it inside of VATS because I feel like if I could target his torso with this I would be doing more damage but I can't because my power core, my fusion core on my armor is run out so I'm gonna have to go revive my teammate right there. Hold on, I'm coming. Hopefully he doesn't step on me. You see, he stepped on me. He has that really, really bad step attack. So if you're like bloody melee, he can sometimes one-shot you just with that little stomp attack right there. And um, they have this alcohol that you can take um, called Liquid Courage, which will prevent that fear effect that he keeps doing. It's a little annoying because sometimes you'll end up running into his fire geyser or his uh, poison geyser, which I'm not seeing this one used as much as the other one. So that that is interesting to know. Um, you can cripple his legs to prevent his movement. There's the poison geyser. There it is. I, I, I spoke too soon, apparently. And uh, you can keep him from moving as much. So if you want him to stay at the forest, you can do that. But I, I like to bring him out get everybody involved in this Wendigo Colossus slaying activity and uh, it's a whole lot of fun trust me it is a whole lot of fun and it will be time for me to farm ammo <laughs> afterwards or craft ammo afterwards but I might need some more lead for the other weapons um, that's pretty much the main things that I wanted to say about this video and I'm going to show you all the way through how long it takes us to defeat him because right now he's on his second life bar. He's a legendary. So that first life bar was just, that was just the tip of the iceberg. But I always feel like with this guy and with Earl, when you get their first life bar down, it feels like, I want to say it feels like, it may not be true, but it feels like they take more damage. Um, of course, I don't have taking one for the team on on this character. I didn't expect to be attacked as much. I expected to range this guy, but this guy is really enamored with me, and he just stepped on me. And this time, I don't see my thing activating, so I guess he uh <laughs> he took me down. I'm gonna have to depend on my teammates. Thank you, teammate. And Revenant proc again. A really great ability, actually. I wish I had like one piece of life saving on this power armor, but I, I don't even think you can get life saving on power armor because of the legendary perk. But uh, it would be interesting if you could. I would wear at least one piece of all my power armor uh, set. So this is a uh, this is pretty interesting. He's coming to the forest. Hopefully he gets stuck on a tree instead of trying to just bite me and kick me and stomp me and claw me and whatever else he plans to do. I'm just a kitty here. I'm just a kitty. Stop it. Stop it, man. Stop it. But let me briefly uh, take time to talk about the recent update that we had received with Still Dawn. I feel like 
I run out of modules faster than I get run out of cores because you get cores, legendary cores for doing events and you get modules only from the purveyor. What I would like them to do is add another way to get legendary modules, either, you know, fulfilling certain uh, requirements during events and that would, you know, get you like one or two legendary modules or maybe five, which would actually be freaking awesome. Um, like the harder the event is, like, I don't know, Arctos Pharma or uh, uh, Pro Project Paradise and Arctos Pharma or Scorched Earth and Colossal Problem. They're the, like the hardest events in the game and encrypted pretty hard too. So those events I feel like should give you more than just cores. They should give you modules or maybe they could put modules on Minerva's inventory. Minerva, the new trader that shows up every so often to trade you wares at a 25% discount. So 25% discount on modules, I'm all for that. I would like to see that in the near future. And if this is your first time on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like and leave a comment. Anything you do helps uh, get this channel put into YouTube's algorithm to show more people on my channel. I had um, initially took like a three or four month break from uploading and so now I'm paying for it <laughs> and the views aren't what they used to be but that's okay that's okay I, I know how to grind and get the channel views back up by releasing content on a more frequent basis I not only do Fallout 76 content I also do Apex Legends content I just uploaded a Fortnite video so I do Fortnite content occasionally because every time I try to stop playing Fortnite completely they'll release like some new thing and I'll just want to be a part of it or like the Adri Ariana Grande concert recently it was like it wasn't just a concert it was like an experience which was cool but I kind of want to just sit back and just watch and enjoy myself without having to shoot from a plane and surf like Sonic the Hedgehog in one of his little bonus stages but that, that's okay Matter of fact, um, now that I talk about Fortnite, let's talk about the Atom Shop because the Atom Shop takes a lot, it takes a lot of influence from the Fortnite store and some of their prices are high because uh, Bethesda wants to price their stuff like the same as Fortnite. But I feel like some of the prices could use to be lower. More people will buy your stuff if you know you lower the prices on some of the skins like power armor um people don't want to pay twenty dollars for one power armor skin or fifteen dollars make them like ten dollars or eight dollars or something you know you know the the customer can't buy only eight dollars worth of atomic shop currency so do that but anyway there he goes there he blows he's down and this wendigo will soon join him and don't forget to loop the screws off the wendigos